Lovely, wonderful people. Not be smarting they happen now as we they speak. Oh, Tinubu's government has deployed soldiers, police orders to disrupt workers' protests, enforcing emo flight blacklist at Abuja airports. Remember at Nandi Azikiwe International Airport today, uh, exit and um, entering has been blocked off, you know, by uh, TLC and um, NUC saying Imo state governor must pay worker salary for which Joe was beaten thoroughly uh, some days ago. They made sure, you know, the Nigerian police enabled and helped him to beat up this young man. And then when they asked, they said, no, uh, we did not beat him. We only saved him from the impending whatever. And so look at what is happening right about now. Every single one of us can see. And this is what is going on now. Nigerians, it is about time we begin to, you know, we begin to decide and make a real decisive progress in ensuring that our nation move forward. As we speak about now, Nigerian government have sent Tinubu, they sent soldiers, police, all kinds of, uh, you know, all kinds of whatever it is to ensure that they put the people to flight um, and their voices will not be heard and they will be, you know, whatever they, they stand to uh, communicate will not also be, uh, you know, taken care of. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Tinubu's government deploys soldiers, police, others to disrupt workers, protest, enforcing Imo's flight blacklist at Abuja airports. Some reporters learned that NLC and TUC members had mobilized for a protest at the Abuja airport to enforce their directive to, uh, to the aviation workers to stop all flights to Were Imo. President Tinubu led government, led Nigerian government on Thursday has deployed soldiers, police personnel, and operatives of other security agencies to distribute members of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress, NTUC, at the Inlandi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja. Sahar so reporters learned that NLC and TUC members had mobilized for a protest at the Abuja airport to enforce their directives to aviation workers to stop all flights going to Oweri, Imo State. This followed the assault on NLC President Joe last week by Nigerian police personnel, reportedly working for Governor Hope Zedema in a statement issued last week. The NLC said Joe was beaten and blindfolded immediately he was arrested by the security operatives. The union said the phones and his phones and other personal belongings taken from Joe have not been returned even up until now. The union members sang and chant at the venue of the protest. One of the displaced banner reads, We stand with we stand with oppressed emo workers. An injured an injury to one of our of an injured an injury to one is an injury to all. Army and police have come to disrupt us at Abuja Airport, one of the protesters told Sahar reporters on Thursday. They have not start, started, but the information is that they should disrupt us by force. All forces are here. DSS, Department of State Security Services, Police, Army, Civil Defense are all here to ensure that we leave immediately. And yet our grievances have not been attended to. You see where the real problem is? You see what the real problem is? They have not attended to the people, yet they want them to go. These are some of the things that goes on. Where government should listen to the people, they don't care. They don't care. And this is why, you know, we, we must ensure that the right thing is done because Nigeria today must move forward. Whatever happened, we must make the real progress and we cannot afford to allow the same thing over and over again. We want this nation to, to, to have the best and we want Nigerians to understand that we have the right 
okay, to demand for that which belongs to us. These people want to intimidate everyone and anybody, you know, whichever way possible they can. That's what they intend to do. Disrupt everyone and anybody and ensure that they take the lead while others come behind, you know. But guess what? We're not going to allow those those antics and tricks to continue to thrive. Because as it stands at today, we know that Nigeria, Nigerians, you know, we are in that position where we sincerely truly need, you know, a, a, a bread of fresh air where we cannot afford to allow the same thing over and over again. The issue here is that there are a lot of people whose mission statement, you know, is that they must take charge of the Nigerian government and take charge of what happened in our nation and um, they must be the ones to control, you know. So that is the, it is the power of control. Who controls? Who is the one who takes the lead? These are some of the issues that these people are up to and they are doing and uh, why again and again we all must ensure that we do not allow the same thing. Yes, so it is It is a matter of a serious attention. Everybody needs to pay attention to it and we all need to, you know, wake up to the reality that this is happening. You know, hope has not paid workers for a long period of time, yet they expect the workers to go to work. They expect them to show up for work every single day and then nobody has the right to complain. If you complain, they say, oh, you are going against the nation and we wonder, you know, where, how do you expect these people to live their life? How do you expect them to feed how do you expect them to be able to you know come out of this oppressive situation you have come to put them what do we do how do we move on from here what do we need to put in place these are very very serious questions that must be answered you know previously one of the one of the things that this government will have to face is this is not uh, the previous times we uh, we don't have internet connection and the world moon of what is going on you know those days where they do as they please and you know we do as they please and they get away with it those those are far you know becoming obsolete because today the world is a global village everybody's aware of what is going on everybody's aware we all know this everybody's seen it everybody knows so we don't want a situation where people are kept in arms way and this nation people are just suffering needlessly and things are going from bad to worse we want Nigerians to ensure that we do everything humanly speaking possible. We 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 are we are positioning ourselves in such a way that we are rising up and we are bringing this nation and we are bringing people out of you know obscurity. Nigerians are going through a lot. Not in this time that there is so much you know so much atrocities and so much things going on. You know Nigerians are going through a lot already. You know, people can barely feed. People can barely even go through their day and what have you. And guess what? Some persons are there trying to manipulate things to suit them. And everybody's quiet. Bye for now.